Welcome back to Mr. Rocha's Bear Tech Presents. This is the second video in coding for our math app. So we just finished coding the 00, the 01. And now we're going to code our 01A. Okay. So I'm going to go back to show text. I'm going to click on line 19 and then I'm going to hit enter. Now remember, I have this extra uh, button here. So you may not have 19 lines. You're, you may only have 15 lines because my extra line is, is right here on, lines, on the code line 16 through 18, right? So you just, you, co you click, you're going to click one or two below your last line of code, if that makes sense, okay? But I'm, for me, it's line 19. So I'm going to click on line 20. I'm going to do my whack whack. I'm going to type in my comment, and this is my TOC screen code. I'm going to go back to my show blocks. All right. So this is the one thing I don't like about it. If I stay in, if I stay in show text, I have more room. Anyway, so I have four buttons here that I want to code. So I'm going to grab four on events and I'm going to grab them. I'm going to put them underneath. And the order that I put them in doesn't matter. I'm sticking each one right there on line 21 and look what's happening. I'm not placing them inside of each other. I'm just placing them one on top of each other. Okay. And then I'm going to go get four set codes or set screens. And again, where I put them doesn't matter as long as I put them inside of my on event, or should I say that the order that I'm putting them in. Okay. Now I want to code. I'm going to code from top to bottom. Can you code from bottom to top? Most certainly you can code from bottom to top. You can code from the middle out. I don't really care. I do it this way so that I stay organized so that I don't get confused when I'm coding. So my first button is my beginner uh, flashcard. And that ID right there is 01A flash, I should say flashcard, but you can't see it all. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to come to my first one. And I'm going to look for my 01A flashcard button. And that's going to take my user to my 01AA table of content screen. My AA table of content screen is my flashcard screen, my beginner flashcard screen. Now I'm going to go to my next button, which is my sentence, correct? So I'm going to go to 01A sentence, 01A sentence button. And that's going to take my user to the 01AB table of content screen because the AB screen is the beginner sentence button. And the third one I'm going to do is my quiz, and that's going to be my 01A dot quiz. So I'm going to click here, and that's going to take our user to the 01AC table of contents screen. And then again, I have my fourth um, button here, which is my back button. And my back button should be 01A. 01A back button, let me double check, 01A back button, and when they click that back button, I'm going to, I want my user to go back to my 01, 01 table of content screen. So when they click this back button, I want them to come back here. I want them to come back here so they can select more. They can always get back, correct, by hitting this back button. So let's run it. Let's see if it works. Click start. I think it was beginner that we did. Yeah, beginner. My flashcard. There it goes, beginner flashcard. Again, we didn't code this button yet, so I have to click reset. Run it again. Run it again. Click start. Beginner. Beginner sentence. Look at that. It's not coded, so I'll click on reset. Run it again. Start. Beginner, beginner quiz, 
Boom. Again, this has not been coded, so reset, start, click on start, a beginner. Let me click on this back button. Boom. And the back button works. So there we go. Boom shakalaka, right? Okay. Pause the video. And do this. If you have to go back and rewatch the video, then do that. But pause this video and lay out this um, line of code. Okay? See you in a few seconds.